Um, it's about, it's, it's actually just what time, this is what time it is, except that I did this, I did this search a few minutes ago, and then I did a few other searches and left this here, and, and there's, this, this is just, this is just getting worse. Um, you know, really, very, very obviously supporting not only people stalking me, but, um, police help, helping the stalkers, and, um, punishing me for trying to report being stalked. Um, this is this no no Americans did not did not vote for this agenda they vote they voted for they had to vote for a Democrat or a Republican really really I don't know why why you keep doing this why you keep doing this and I can't believe this that they he, they actually his his the people who work for him actually actually advised him to create a video that says this a video about this you've got you've got to be kidding me you've got to be kidding me you know <laughs> all right let's let's first of all let's let's talk about this first of all this is. Scott is code for Emma Watson because several months ago I started talking. And at, at the time it was into my hacked voicemail. I was trying to um, at least at least turn the fact that I felt like I couldn't do anything at all about um, my phone being hacked and that sort of thing to to a, to a good advantage. I, I started. I just I said she was like she was like the character in this movie. Um, it's a movie from decades ago. But I said she 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 is like she is like this person. This is this is not this is not this is. Not a not a pleasant character, and not and not someone whose behavior or whose life anyone should really want to emulate. But I and, but I, I did talk about it, and in fact, um, recently, I went to Staples, and um, you know where I have all, all I've ever done at Staples in Braintree um, is um, walk in, do some shopping for stuff that I had to get, and be polite. And there's a, there's a number of things that have happened there. Um, there are, you know some some people are fine. Um, but some of the employees have harassed me at times. Um, some uh, some of the employees have been fine, you know. But some of them have harassed me. They also had this set up the last time that I well, one of the one of the last times that I was there, um, that they had um, pe people who were there with uh, some kind of display saying, you know, that was re it was basically, basically basically referencing the whole video situation. And then one of the people who was there kept coughing and coughing at me the entire time I was in the store. And they also had this display right next to the front door um, that had like Scott Scott. It was either Scott like paper towels or Scott bath tissue, and, and the kind of other things that were degrading. They were de that were al along with it that were de degrading towards me. Um, and I said, and I made a video of it. I filmed a video. I didn't not not of the not of those things, um, but but talking about it. I said they don't even know. They don't even know what the reference is. They have they have somehow found out that Scott is code for a Emma Watson, and they don't realize it's a neg it's a negative reference. It's something that's extremely negative. It has, has it's, it, they just they just think oh it's it's for her it's for her and so it's fine. This 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 is the story of this movie. Uh, this is this is you know Wikipedia. I don't always use them for information, but you know some, some, sometimes sometimes it's it's you know it's good enough. So Diana Scott is a beautiful, bored young model married to Tony Bridges. One day Diana meets Robert Gold, a literary interviewer, director for television arts programs, by chance when she is spotted on the street by his roaming film crew and inter interviewed by him about young people's views on convention. Diana is invited to watch the final edit on the TV studio, and there the relationship starts. After liaisons and bleak hotel rooms, they leave their spouses and, in Robert's case, children, and move into an apartment. As a couple, they become part of the fashionable London media arts set. Initially, Diana is jealous when Robert sees his wife while visiting his children, but she quickly loses this attachment when she mixes with the predatory males of the media arts and advertising scene, particularly Miles Brandt, a powerful advertising executive for the Glass Corporation who gets her apart in a trashy thriller after she has sex with him. The bookish Robert prefers the quiet life. It is he who now becomes jealous but increasingly detached, depressed, and lonely. Diana attends a high-class charity draw for world hunger for which she is the face. The event, adorned by giant images of African famine victims, is at the height of cynical hypocrisy and bad taste showing Diana's rich white set, um, which now includes the establishment, playing at concern, gorging themselves, gambling, and generally behaving decadently. Already showing signs of stress from constantly maintaining the care carefree look demanded by the false, empty lifestyle to which she has become a prisoner, Diana becomes pregnant and has an abortion. She flies to Paris with Miles for more jet-set sophistication. She finds the wild party, beat music, strip dance, mind game, cross-dressing, and predatory males and females vaguely repellent and intimidating, but Diana holds her own 
gaining the respect of the weird crowd when she taunts Miles in the game. On her return to London, Robert calls her a whore and leaves her for which she is not emotionally prepared. Ironically, Miles casts her as the happiness girl in the Glass Corporation's advertising campaign for a chocolate firm. On location at a palazzo near Rome, Diana smiles in her medieval Renaissance costume and completes the happiness girl shoot. She is much taken with the beauty of the building and the landscape and gets on well with the prince. Cesare, who owns the... Oh, wait. Cesare, oh, Cesare, who owns the palazzo. With the gay photographer Malcolm, who has created her now famous look and who is the only person who has shown her any real understanding and friendship, Diana decides to stay on in Italy. They stay in a simple house by a simple harbor, by a small harbor in Capri. Um, Diana flirts half-heartedly with Catholicism. They are visited by Cesare, who arrives in a huge launch, invites them on board, and proposes to Diana. Cesare is widowed and has several children, the oldest of whom is about the same age as Diana. Diana politely declines his proposal, but Cesare leaves the offer open. Um, Diana returns to London and goes to a refreshingly innocent disco with Miles. Robert has aged, soon disillusioned with Miles and the vacuous London jet set. Diana flirts with the Catholic Church again. Impulsively, she flies out to Italy and marries the prince, who pro which proves to be ill-considered. Though waited on hand and foot by servants, she is almost immediately abandoned in the vast palazzo by Cesare, who has gone to Rome, presumably to visit a mistress. Diana flees to London, who, who <laughs> flees to London to Robert, who, taking advantage of her emotional vulnerability, charms her into bed into what she thinks is a stable long-term relationship. In the morning, in self-disgust. He tells her he's leaving her and that he fooled her only as an act of revenge. She reserves her flight to Rome, packs her into his car, and takes her to Heathrow Airport to send her back to her life as the Princess Stella Romita. At the airport, Diana is hounded by the press, who address her reverentially as Princess. She boards the plane to leave. All right, so, I mean, I, I, but what I was, she, 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 she has, Emma Watson is, is I think, to, from as far, as far as I know, you know, I haven't looked at her lately, um, is, is still, is still in this, still in this stage of that life, right? You know, not caring, not caring whose life she disturbs, not caring what effect she has on other people, um, you know, and I thought, I thought, and I had actually also had talked about this. Um, as being very much, I mean, just such such a total, totally accurate description um, of the way that you know the conglomerate celebrity world behaves, and, all sort, I, and I suppose all sorts of people, although they're not not as many of them like <laughs> show 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 it really like show it show it to to quite the same extent all the time. Um, certainly, certainly not someone to emulate. Absolutely not someone to emulate whatsoever. When well, they had and they had no concept of any of that. They had no concept of any of that. Right, and now and now and now the people who work for the president have actually convinced him to do a video about it, praising her, praise, praise, praising that character, 